you know, what I said to you yesterday about this not changing me. Well, I was wrong because it already has. I'll never be the same again. Do you want me to come with you? To the police? Oh, no, I can't. OK. Fair enough. But no. That that option is on the table whenever you feel the time is right. OK? Mm. <sighs> so what do I do now? Oh, we should go away. <laughs> now you're broad, maybe. <laughs> Me and you together. <laughs> so what, you do that for me, would you? Yes. <laughs> do me a favour, I'll get honey out of me, Earl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't. All right. All right, then, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for meeting me, sweet cheeks. I just wanted to make sure you were leaving. You got out just in time. Ben turned up with a crowbar. <laughs> what was that about? How should I know he's tapped? Yeah, with his family. So what's what you say about it? I didn't know you had a bit of fire in you, Peter. Shame that loyalty to your family doesn't go both ways. Yeah, that's right. You didn't know, did you? Your sweet Uncle Ben was the one who knocked seven shades of proverbially out of you. <laughs> He's the Walford attacker. Oh, as if. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I do, Peter. And so does your gran. In fact, I think you're one of the very few people who doesn't know. Funny that. Cheers for the keys. <laughs> <laughs>